We are in Africa. We get to sit on the top. Awesome. We're in Botswana on safari. Watch out, wild <laughs> We're here to see wild animals like we've never seen before. Holy mackerel. And get so close to lions, we're surrounded by them. Our adventure starts here, at Planet Baobab. This place would be paradise, but it has my brother in it. River, stop. <laughs> Traveling with family, well, <laughs> no one said I couldn't push him. isn't always easy. And poor Archer, all this traveling has him feeling under the weather. Luckily, the doctor says he'll be fine. He just needs his rest. <sighs> we're spending the night here because tomorrow morning, we're headed out on an epic safari. We're driving over 50 kilometers into the Kalahari Desert to stay at Camp Kalahari Mm, As we search for lions, even though there are wild animals everywhere, we are told that the camp has only safe animals. <laughs> On second thought, do not do takes walking backwards. This is our guide, BK. Let's see who's going to spot the lions first. He is an expert at spotting animals. Like these guys, there are two bush babies up there. Those are bush babies, or more formally, galagos. They are the smallest primate in Africa. And aside from being totally cute, they are amazing jumpers. So the bush babies, for them to have that nice creep is because they always pee on their hands. What? You don't pee on your hands? Lion Safari, day two. Archer is still not feeling great. How you doing, boopies? Good morning, BK. Morning, how are you today? But Wilder and I couldn't be more excited. We get to sit on the top. And there's like a back deck, too. Awesome. This is amazing. You can just look out at all the animals. And just like that, we are on the road. We've got a three hour drive ahead of us, but it's giving Archer some much needed rest. We're keeping our eyes peeled for elephants. You see that poop there? That's elephant. Apparently out here, they're all males and they're pretty big. So we are halfway there. We have spotted some few animals around. <laughs> there are termite mounds everywhere. Some of these termite mounds are 500 years old. Now you kids respect your elders. All right, now we are starting to get into that uh, African massage. Suddenly, we are off the main road and into the desert. And it's getting bumpy. Oh, no, still poopy. We're wondering if life even exists out here. But BK spotted something. And then, I see it too. Shh, right there, it's a ground squirrel. Oh, yeah! So we have to keep our eyes peeled out here. We might see lions around here. This is a harsh hit. Wait, lions. where? Where? BK has spotted lions. The lions there. That tree over there, we've got lions. They are well camouflaged. There's lions, you can see their ears. Oh. I can't see them. I don't see them. Uh, they are right here underneath the bush. we are going to be close to them. Holy mackerel, there's three of them. Uh. It's really hot, so they're doing their best to stay cool. So around this time of the day, they're going to take some time off, and then later on, when the temperatures cool down, that's the time when they're going to go out and hunt. We are so lucky. There are three lions right in front of us. Wait a second, there's a fourth lion in there. What are they looking at? Uh, I'd go to your hole, little ground squirrel. Wow, look at the time. Gotta go, bye! That was amazing. But now we have to head to camp. Bye-bye, lions. And just a few minutes later, we had arrived. Welcome to Camp Kalahari. Hello. Hello. My name is Ntebu. Oh, I love the towel thing. We will be your home base for the next few days as you head out on your safari adventures. This place, it's like a fancy hotel in the middle of the desert. 
I'm so small in the jam. Guests are treated like royalty. And all this pampering is making Archer feel a lot better. <laughs> and as for Wilder, well... Normal? They go like this, and then they yeah. get to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> like all camps, this one has tents. But these are not your average tents. Wow, this is huge! These are tents fit for a king. Welcome, everybody! So it's parents in one side. This is raised up. This is camping? A swanky bathroom in the middle. And the kids have their own room on the other side. I have a purple fuzz boy. I have a purple fuzz boy. I have a purple fuzz boy. Whoa, gecko inside, inside, or no, outside. There's no phone, so they give you a horn for emergencies. We made it to paradise, so it's time to get silly. In case you're wondering, I'm feeling a lot better. Right on set. <laughs> okay, so we're here to see lions. But when the sun is this hot, you cannot go on safari. Instead, you go for tea. We are getting ready for high tea. Cheerio, old chaps. We scorns in crumpets. We came down to the lodge, and they had crumpets and cupcakes. It was amazing. How many of these can I have? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Just melts in your mouth. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I can get used to this. They have more scones. <laughs> Must eat scones. This afternoon we're going to be going out to the pens, so high chances of seeing lots of zebras, huh? wild beasts, huh? and lions. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go on the roof! Alright, this is it. Lions, here we come. Watch out, Wilder! We had to watch out for bushes, and the road was really bumpy. <laughs> When we got to the watering hole, there were animals as far as the eye could see. There's a secretary bird up ahead. Look at its feathers. The secretary bird may look cute. Sorry, Mr. Wilder's on safari. But watch out. Oh, yeah! They are fierce predators. BK had a hunch about where the lions would be, so we headed further into the salt pan. So you can see all these wild beasts and zebras, they are facing one direction. That will mean that's where the lions are. So before we get to the lions, I'm going to stop the vehicle and ask the kids to come down inside the car. Are you sure? You can leave my brothers up there. <laughs> Let's see who's going to spot the lions first. BK was spot on again. So that's a, a female. There's lions right up ahead and they're eating a zebra. A successful hunt is sad for the zebra, but necessary for the survival of the lions. So these are uh, lions, they killed this zebra uh, this morning. Yeah, just from the other side of this bush. There's another lion coming to the kill. Another young male lion walks towards the zebra, but the first lion isn't bothered by the new arrival. Now we're watching these brothers over here eat. They're mostly getting along, but you'll hear some growl. After a bit of snarling, it looks like they know how to share. There's also a big female back there stalking the wildebeest. She's making her way towards the wildebeest and slinks through the grass before making her attempt. And she's rushing the herd. But she's missed. Having spent so much energy, she lies down for a rest. There's another one coming right towards us. This is unbelievable. There's lions everywhere. This is amazing. There's two lions right in front of us. But then the lions are on the move. 
They're headed to a nearby watering hole. As we head out to get there first, we're reminded of how harsh life in the desert can be. Whoa, looks like somebody's already here. There's a giant bull elephant just up ahead. It's the biggest elephant we've ever seen. Whoa, he is huge. With this guy here, we're worried the lions won't show. But then, in the distance, the lions make their entrance, and the big bull has spotted them. We can't believe it. The lions are walking within feet of the truck. We sit silently and watch the scene unfold. The first of the lions makes its way down to the water. The elephant holds its ground as if saying, this water is mine. Cautiously, the first lion has a drink. We watch as the second lion makes its approach. As the lions greet each other, the tension appears to lift. And as the lions drink, it appears the elephant is okay with their presence. For now. A giant bull elephant and two lions at the same watering hole. This is amazing. As the elephant takes its leave, it's just us and the lions. Mm. We can't believe our luck. And this was only day one. So be sure to subscribe. They found a scorpion. Because we have some more adventures coming up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. For fan gear, check out riverandwilder.com. Yeah.